Hi, it's Monique and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you, um, I guess this is part three of my decluttering project. Um, as some of you know, um, I've started to kind of uh, scale down my collection um, because I just, some things I just don't want anymore and just some things... Um, I have duplicates of, so I decided to declutter my collection for the spring. So before I get started, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, Pretty Salad Life. And if you aren't a subscriber, I hope that after you see this video, you will see something that will inspire you to become a subscriber. So I'm gonna get started. So before I get started with my decluttering project, I wanna share with you, um, just some of the items that I got during the last $5.95 sale. So, and I didn't get a lot. Um, I just got a few things. So I'm gonna share with you what I got. So I got dressed in white. So I have the body mist. I have the shower gel. And I have the uh, body cream. And I also picked up another um, gingham scrub. And so, of course, the blue one, as I call it. You guys know I love to say the blue one because this one is my favorite. So those are the things I picked up during the $5.95 sale. Um, actually, I got these things from Bath & Body Works in Charlotte, a Charlotte location. And they didn't even have this plaza that I was in. They didn't even have the Lux collection because I do have two items from the Lux collection. But I wanted the Petals one and I wanted the... The one that is a dupe for um, Santel 33, I wanted that one, but they didn't have any. They said their store didn't even get the Lux collection. And so um, by the time I got back to, you know, my city, I just said, I'll just wait next time. You know, I'll wait for another sale. Hopefully it'll be another sale and, you know, but anyway, so this is what I purchased from the $5.95 sale, these items. So um, dressed in white, I'm just going to spray it for you. I haven't even worn this yet. I may, this may be my scent of the day tomorrow. So let me read the scent notes. The scent notes are pear blossoms, ivory gardenia, and satin wood. So let's just see. Mm. Oh yeah, it smells good. You really get that gardenia more than the pear for me. But like I said, I'm gonna make this my scent of the day tomorrow. You guys know every day I post my scent of the day. And then I'll let you guys know in a full review what I think about this one. So that is dressed in white. Let me smell the shower gel. Mm. Oh yeah, it smells good. The shower gel smells really good. Alrighty, so back to my decluttering project. So I have a few items here. And like, you know, if you watch my other two videos for my decluttering journey, I my goal is to declutter in small chunks. So I don't want to just, you know, you know, take a whole bunch of items and go through. I want to do it piece by piece um, because that just helps me kind of um, stay focused and, you know, without, you know, getting overwhelmed basically. All right. So let's see. Now this one, the reason why I'm, this one is a part of the declutter um, bunch, this group is this one is pumpkin pecan waffles. So the scent notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, um, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Now this one is only a part of the decluttering project because I have two. Actually, I have more than two. So I said, you know, I love pumpkin pecan waffles, but you know, I don't need this many. And so I think I have two more of the older packaging, you know, in my collection. So it's time to declutter some. And for this, I have, you know, all of the prod products that go along with it, the shower gel, the hand cream, you know, everything. So it's time to, I'm, I'm going to declutter these two because like I said, I have the older packaging back in my collection. So these are going to be decluttered. So the next thing is, <laughs> this may come as a surprise to some people, but you know, I just think my scent has changed. My, my scent preference, if you will, has changed. 
This is Into the Night. So Into the Night, the scent notes are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. So you see here, I have the body cream. I have the shower gel. This is the, I guess this is the, I don't know if you call it the Bevel Collection or the Jewel Collection. I have that one. Then I have the Glowing Body Scrub, which I don't even think I use. Oh, I may have used this. But I really don't like the, I told you guys I really don't like that shimmer. So this is the Glowing Body Scrub. This is the body wash. And of course, this is the fragrance in this. And this is the one with the, you know, the shimmer top. You know, they, this, of course, this is a longstanding um, collection. And so, um, and I may have more in my collection, like I said. But it just does not appeal to me. Like, it doesn't appeal to me so much that I don't even want to spray it now. So, I just don't. I just don't care for it anymore. And I think... I don't know why. I think it's a little bit too strong for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to declutter that one. And, you know, when I find more, they're going to be decluttered as well. Because over the years, I have tried to um, use different scent combinations and different things like that. And I just can't, I can't tone it down. And so, based on that, it has to go. So, my next one, which I'm really surprised about, but... Yeah, and this is a popular one too. This is Beach Nights. And I have the shower gel somewhere around here. And I may even have duplicates of these. So Beach Nights, the scent notes are Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'more Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. So with this one, I really do believe that it's either the sea salt that I don't like or the driftwood. Because I noticed that other scents with those same notes in it, I just don't care for. Um, so, yeah, I just don't want this anymore. I wore it a few times. And again, like everything that I have, I try to put a little spin on it. And then even when those notes that I'm not really crazy about still kind of, you know, um, are prominent, I just say it's time to go. So yeah, I know this is a prop popular one, and um, but yeah, Beach Nights has to go. So, <laughs> alrighty. So the next one, uh, let's see. Okay, this one, Peach Prosecco uh, Macaron. Now this one, and I have this, and I have the shower, and I have the lotion somewhere in my collection. Um, this one um, came out with my favorite. Um, coconut cream pie. This is part of that collection. Um, I tried to love this one. Um, you can see that I haven't had much use with this one. I've tried to love it um, and I just don't love it. I don't know. Let me spray it. And so I don't know what it is. And I think that I, hmm. yeah, it's just something, you know, you really get the peach. Um, but in my opinion, it's a subtle peach. And I think it's like, it's like a dessert peach, which is, you know, macaron is a, a dessert. But it's just not for me. So, time to declutter. So, and I'll find the, I'm sure I have the lotion. Because when I bought this, I wasn't really into body creams. I was more into lotions, I believe. Or was I in lo lotions? I can't remember. But I know I don't have the body cream to this. I know I have the lotion to this set. So, this is getting decluttered. So the next one, and I, you know what? I don't even have the scent notes to this. This is Rose by Bath and Body Works. And you see, this is the older packaging. And I've had this in my collection for a while. Now, the reason why I'm decluttering this one is because I have better rose scents in my collection now. You can tell that I bought this a while ago. And it smells just like a rose. I mean, it smells really, really good. But I have the Lena in my collection. I also have the new Lux Rose. Um, so yeah, I'm decluttering this because, you know, I have things, um, excuse me, items in my collection, fragrances in my collection that have a rose component. And so that's another um, reason why I'm decluttering some of my fragrances because if I have, you know, I don't want five chocolate fragrances in my collection or five 
rose you know even though um something can have different dimensions like you can have like a meyer lemon a sparkling lemon things like that but some of the things that are, have similar um set notes i'm i'm deciding to declutter i have to i have to get down my collection some way so in my mind i have to use some type of logic and that's that's what i'm using so this rose has to go and like i said this is a vintage one because this is um pre um and this one was what 1450 so you know that was a while ago so all right so the next one is another oldie um this one doesn't have the scent notes either and this was another one for 14 this one was just 14 dollars, not even with the 50 cent this is magic in the air and i should have looked up the scent notes but i don't even know what the scent notes are in this one but um and i don't have anything else to it i don't have the shower gel or the body cream or lotion let me see it smells good though but not enough to stick around in my collection so i decided to declutter and you see i've i've put quite a dent in it but you know you know when i'm doing the process of elimination some things just have to go so Alrighty, so for my last item, um, and I do have the body cream or the lotion, one of those I have around here, and this is brand new. Um, I haven't even used the shower gel. This is Goldenberry Mistletoe. So you guys know that, um, of course, this fragrance, this is a new fragrance, and I purchased this, did I purchase this during the last SAS or was it? A big sale around SAS. I don't know either one, but I smelled this and I thought I was just so in love with it until, and I will spray this one. This one isn't so bad that I don't want to smell it by spraying it, but it's the spruce in here. So let me tell you what the notes here are. They are, hold on, where is it? It is sparkling, excuse me, what is it? Sparkling berries sugared spruce and frosted air and it is that sugared spruce in here that i don't like so when i first sprayed this and i sprayed it in store you get the berries right off that's the first thing that i smell is the berries and that's what i fell in love with but then <laughs> um oh that spruce no very um What's that scent? Like not balsam, but pine. And it smells like car freshener, pine. You know that those pine trees for a uh, car freshener? It smells like that. So yeah, this one has to go out of my collection. And so, and you guys know that sometimes you smell things in the store and they smell different than you get them home or they get a chance to, you know, cool down or you know, as they age and sit. And so, or sometimes when you just spray it and that that release, it morphs into something else. So this one is, you know, like I said, practically brand new. I think I may have worn it once, I'm not sure, but I know I didn't use the shower gel. I just don't care for it. So it is getting dis decluttered. So yeah, um, so yeah, I feel good about these items. Um, each week i'm going through my collection and um you know i'm taking about 10 items just a little bit at a time and um you know i'm re-smelling them because a couple of items that i pulled out that i thought i was going to declutter after i sprayed them and wore them around the house um they didn't make the cut like apple blossom is one of them that i decided to keep i'm like oh that smells really good and that's an oldie but goodie but i decided to keep that one um so probably later on this week that'll be my scent of the day along with eden juicy apple i think i'm gonna um use a scent combo with those and so basically that's it i'm enjoying my um decluttering journey i know um sas is coming up i think in june and so you know as i get things out of my collection I won't feel, for me, I won't feel <laughs> as guilty when, you know, during SAS, you know, I pick up something that, you know, I want or, you know, um, bringing new things in. I know, um, who is, it's some 
famous declutter person, they say, you know, if you if you buy five shirts, then five shirts have to go, that kind of thing. So that is kind of the method I want to uh, adopt with my fragrances. Um, not that I'm getting rid of any of my favorites, but, you know, if over time my tastes change and I want something different, then it's time to get things out. And then I think that will help me not just have so many fragrances around because, um, you know, I'm not a collector per se. I, even though I, I have a collection, I'm not a collector. Like I don't, I don't purchase things to sit pretty on a shelf. I purchase things to use. And so if I'm not using them anymore, if I don't like them, then I'm, I'm going to declutter them. So that's going to, you know, that's going to be my method. So, but let me know, comment below. Let me know, um, what your decluttering method is, if you if you have any, um, let me know um, what you're looking to, forward to purchasing, anything new and exciting, and um, let me know what your scent of the day is. You guys know I post every day what my scent of the day is. Please let me know what your scent of the day is. I've been getting some really good ideas about different combinations and and some fragrances I haven't even heard of yet or tried. So. I enjoy that feedback as well. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.